I spent a hundred days in Minecraft. Minecraft. Can I survive in this sandbox game by gathering food, enduring harsh nights, and completing monumental tasks? Can I defeat the Ender Dragon and Wither, explore end islands and ocean monuments, and attempt to enter the ancient city where the Warden resides? I'm playing on the hardest difficulty. Welcome to Minecraft. We're here in a plains biome, and we're just going to try to survive here. We are on hardcore, so if we die then it's all over but yeah i mean we have a singular tree with a b here not a lot of trees although i do see an outpost there for pillagers yeah i'm just going to chop down a tree right here whoa a huge cave as well this is interesting well then, oak planks, and we're going to make a workbench and some sticks. Well then, I think we'll build our base right where we spawn, no? That's the best. For now, just make a wooden pickaxe and a wooden axe. We have the ocean if we want to take the boat. Yeah, I'm going to have to get all the tree saplings that I can, because there are no trees. Although, there are some over there. Come on, please. Okay, we have trees. I will also need some food for the future, so cows, you have to die. And we have the seed here, if you want to check it out. Now then, getting some stone. We have made it into the Stone Age. Now I'm going to have to kill some sheep over there. I see some because I don't want to have to stand in the hardcore night. Yeah, the skeletons will instantly kill us. We also have some iron ore here. That will be useful. So with the stone tools, I can mine this iron. And yeah, we have a bunch of caves here. I need some coal. Well, I think we're ready to go back to our base and start constructing it. Now, I would like to get some seeds early on because I want to breed chickens, cows, and sheep. But as you can see, the sunset is coming, so we need to sleep. Yeah, this tree will become a landmark here. We will not take it out. So then, nothing too complicated for now. I just want to make a simple base we can come back to. And make a couple of furnaces here, just so I can get some food. Oh, what is this? I can make a smoker. Does that cook food? food faster. I don't have enough wood for the house, so some dirt will have to do. Maybe some uh, some cobblestone. There we go. Now we're nice and safe. I'm also going to make a hoe real quick. For now, I will have to plant it near the sea. A seedy place. Yup. So we got the farm down, we got the base down, so maybe it's time to start exploring. I'm also going to plant the saplings, just in case. One, two, three, four. And the beehive should have some honey, yeah? Although, how do I collect it? Well, we have a lot of food now, so I'm thinking we head... Uh, where should we go? Yeah, we should head north. Yeah, so we have this cave here, but I'm not sure if I want to explore that just yet. This world generation is... Wow, where is this water leading? But this is a beautiful beautiful place though. Ah, I should get some salmon. Those are a great source of food. Yeah, looks like I'm heading into a birch slash oak forest. Yeah, I cannot see so well in this forest, so I think I'll head west. Okay, so I see the pillager outpost, and we have some lava here. If we need to make a portal, I see a ruined portal way over there, but I will need to sleep soon. Oh my, there is a village right over there. Not too far from the base, actually. So there's a gold block here. Here, but I don't think I can mine that with a stone pickaxe. Uh, let's see here. Some good loot. Oh, golden leggings. Okay, this will be great. I'm going to have to kill some cows though. In the future, I will need a lot of books for an enchanting table. Ah, uh, those cows had a kid. Um, yeah, he will become an orphan. This village has a bunch of stuff. I can get my golden home. Well then, with my golden home, I can get all of this food. Hello, hello. I will be taking some of your wheat, yeah? He sells... Ooh, I mean, wheat for emeralds could become a good business. Oh, what is this? A blast furnace. That's pretty good for smelting down ores. A stone cutter. What the hell is this? I want that. And a church. Oh, my brewing stand. That's even better. Stealing more of their hay. And there's another church here. Hmm, rot. And flesh for emeralds, not too shabby. 
Oh no, my, my golden hoe broke. Yeah, there is a bunch of good loot here, actually. Yeah, that was pretty good, but I think it's time to go home. I need to stash this loot, and then I want to explore the sea. Yeah, I would like to take out this outpost at one point, but we are not strong enough for that. Oh well, finally back at home, so I need to stash this. How much hay bale do we have? Oh my goodness. I would also like to make a smoker. Where was that? Okay, this should cook things extremely quickly. Yeah, 56 hay bales become so much wheat. Oh my, what is this? Almost 200 brochen bread. I can also make an iron axe soon. I just need some more iron. Okay, so with the boat done, we can head out. Actually, I'm going to make a boat in a chest. Oak boat with chest. So then, we're looking for shipwrecks. Maybe with treasures. Oh my, I see a temple there. Is that an ancient guardian temple? I forgot the name. We will have to explore that one day. Wait, there are, there are two of them. I see another one. There is no way. There's a mushroom island right there. Very close to spawn. Okay, I see a shipwreck along with another temple. Oh no, this is just a ruined portal. Oh no, I missed it. So there's a ruined portal there and a boat right there. I'm just going to place a door down so I can breathe. Okay, what is this? A smithing template. And the second chest has... I uh, cannot open it. There we go. Buried treasure map. Oh, buried treasure map. Where the hell do I find this? Okay, found another structure here. Okay, a few zombies. This golden axe has sharpness three. Oh wait, I have a smite axe. This must be better, right? Come on, smite them. Yeah. Well done. Not a lot of loot. Ooh, a leather tunic. Okay, where is this treasure map? I need to go southwest. Okay, I was right. I'm starting to see colors. I'm going to have to navigate through the ice, huh? Yeah, I'm starting to see it. I have to pass through this land. But I need to sleep. I don't want a creeper killing me. Yep, there it is. So then, I already got diamonds. No way. Oh my, so much iron as well. Potion of water breathing could be useful. Yeah, I think this was a great expedition, but I think we need to head home. Our inventory is full and these diamonds, what do I do with them? I think I'm just going to make a diamond sword. Why not? Oh, another shipwreck here. Almost missed it. Even more iron. Great to see. Lapis lazuli. And we have another buried treasure, but this should be the same one. What the hell was that? Okay, there is uh, there is a temple here, and I got... Is this mining fatigue? Yeah, I need to get the hell out of here. And we've arrived to the base back at home. But I cannot mine for two minutes. Jeez. Oh, well, more loot for the chest. Oh, I need more chests. But with this iron, I can make an iron pickaxe. I think I'm also going to make a water bucket. And we have flint and steel. Here we go. Flint and steel. Maybe some armor. So everything we need. Is this the full armor? Very nice. We're uh, suited up. Well then, I would like to explore the caves. I would like to get some more diamonds. And I would also like to get more cobblestone. Because I would like to upgrade the base. I don't want a wooden base. Because that's flammable. Well, there is a cave over here I would like to explore. So it is this one right here. It looks very weird. Yeah, look at this. Oh, creeper. Oh, man. And another one right there. These skeletons have aimbot. Jesus, they are so tough, these mobs. Anyways, time to keep on mining. Let's get a lot of iron. Nothing else in here, dead end. Okay, it's getting dark. Uh, a mine shaft. Oh my, goodbye zombie. We can go down the waterfall. Uh, let's see here. Uh, I see a few mine carts. Yeah, those archers have aimbot. It's not even fair. Oh well, it doesn't matter. They are swarming in. Not a problem for us, though. Let's see here. Glowberries. Interesting. Ah, more minecarts. A diamond. Well, then I'll be stealing all of this juicy stuff. I need to go deeper. Oh, lapis lazuli. Ah, what is this? A zombified villager. Well, I don't have anything to cure it. Ah, no spider. And some gold. 
we're going even deeper. Wow, this cave is huge. I'm just going to jump past here. Oh my, okay, I found the first diamond right here. One diamond. This cave never ends, huh? Oh, a lot of mobs here. Yeah, they come out of nowhere. Oh, more diamonds. Uh, only one, though. I would like to make a clock so I can track the times. So going to smelt some gold. Ah, oh, more diamonds. Great. Only in veins of one, though. But I can make a diamond pickaxe now. Oh, damn. This is way more useful. Ah, so many diamonds. So many. And even more. Okay, this time veins of... Oh, that's a lot of diamonds. But these skeletons, man. Yeah, I would like to get an enchanting table. So I'm going to save some for those. Yeah, now I'm finding a lot of them. Okay, how do I miss these? Hmm, they're everywhere, the diamonds. Another mine shaft down here. How can that be? Especially if there are more diamonds. Were diamonds always this common? Wow, we already have 23. Oh, what is this? A skeleton spawner. This is quite nice. Got a music disc. Oh my goodness. An enchanted book with fortune theory. Um, I need to apply this to my pickaxe as uh, soon as possible. That means that one diamond could become uh, two or three. Wow. Um, yeah, I need an anvil though. That's all I should need. I will need to get some obsidian. I hear lava. Come on, lava. It's somewhere here. Here we go, lava. I'll just get enough obsidian for an enchanting table and a never portal. Well, I have 14 obsidian, so enough for an enchanting table and the portal. So now I need to leave. Ah, uh, so many diamonds. Yeah, this cave keeps on getting better and better. Hmm, Enderman? Come on, cannot touch me. Is there an end to this maze? Oh my goodness. I think it's about time that I start making diamond armor. Okay then, so we will uh, simply start making this. Diamond chest plate, uh, pants, helmet, boots. So now we're looking uh, quite good. Yeah, this is the biggest cave I've explored though. Well then, it's time to head out. Time to head out. Yeah, where the hell even am I? Is this another dungeon? Oh my goodness, skeletons. A saddle? I can get a horse. Just go up and up. I don't know where I am. Hmm, what is this? The ocean? Ah, I'm able to swim all the way to the surface. If I don't drown. Ah, uh, surface. Okay, I'm fine, I'm fine. Oh my goodness. Where the hell did I come down from? Ah, oh, I'm, uh, I'm over here. I need to store all of this loot and upgrade the base. How did we become so rich? Oh my, that fortune free will be really useful. I also think I'm going to make a wooden or a diamond and diamond shovel. And I was thinking instead of stone, why don't I get some of this clay? I can do something with that, right? <laughs> So how do I work this up then? Uh, concrete powder is what I what I want here. Anyways, time to start smelting down some stuff. Ah, the trees have grown. I'm just going to chop them back down. Deforesting is what humans do anyways. Well, I'm just going to farm some resources in this river here for our base. I want the terracotta. Okay, we have a bunch of gravel and clay balls. So then, I think I want a blue base. That is the, that is the plan. So blue dye. And now we can make this, right? Uh, concrete powder. Oh wait, I need sand, not clay. Interesting. Let's see here. Terracotta. Oh no, that is what I want. Blue concrete powder. What do I do with this? Wait, do I... Okay. There we go. So blue concrete. That looks that looks very nice. Well then, time to start building. Uh, the tree here. I don't want to destroy it. Can it be part of the base? Yeah, uh, this base will be a little bit bigger than I thought, but the bigger the better. I'm going to have to get rid of all of the dirt for the flooring. I need to get something better for the shovel. I'm going to make, what is it? The enchanting table right now. So here we go. Enchanting table. Need that. I'm just going to get this real quick for the shovel. Efficiency 2. Wow. Got the enchanter advancement. Yeah, this is quite grindy, but it will be worth it. Well then, terraform the landscape and all has been shoveled. I just need some more sand. 
Ah, oh, thank you, dolphin, speeding me up. Well, then we have all the terracotta too. Oh, no, there we go. Blue terracotta. Do we want a completely blue base? Or maybe we should have this um this brown color. Uh, brown and blue. I mean, that doesn't seem too bad. I think it will be four tiles tall or four blocks tall, the base. Yeah, the grind is very real. We have to keep on shoveling. And I will also make an anvil. I should have enough for that. Here we go. I need to repair my shovel. It would be cheaper to make a new one, huh? Here we go. And this should work. Yup. Anyways, we are like halfway done with the base now. So not much left. Ah, Enderman out here. It cannot touch me in the water, huh? Alright, place down the dirt block. <laughs> what can it do? Come on, big guy. Oh no. Oh no, no more shield. Ah, oh, it died to the water. Well then, finally got enough clay so I can head home. More Endermans. Oh no, I don't want to enrage them actually. Oh no. No. Oh my goodness. Yeah, this is way too risky actually. I mean, I do have a horse saddle, so I should consider getting uh, getting a horse. And now we can work on the roof. Oh, there's just a giant hole right by the base here, and you can see a mine shaft. The mine shaft. Wow. Yeah, I might have miscalculated a bit. I need even more terracotta. I'm going to have to get a horse now ASAP. Well then, beautiful horsey, come on. There we go, best friends forever. And this one is pretty damn good. Now we do have some white horses over here. Maybe I can try them, but they are, they seem worse. Okay, let me try to get this one. It seems fast. Here we go, so saddle. Yeah, this one seems even faster. It also jumps higher. And we're almost finished with this damn base. And... There we go, the whole base is done. Now we can deconstruct our starter base. Well then, time to move everything. I want the enchanting table area right in the corner here. We just want to make as many bookshelves as possible. So we need 15 for the perfect shelf area. So for now, you start constructing it. And all the flooring has been placed. I still need to pour water for the sand to harden. So now comes the satisfying part where we do it like this and let the water pour. We just have the random tree sticking out from the start. This tree will always be part of us, right? But yeah, all of the concrete powder has been turned into concrete. Well, with the base done, I just want to get a few more things, like a farm for cows and chicken and a wheat farm. I'm also going to go out and get a few more books. I will have to get more sugar canes and kill more cows. Well then, sugar canes, you can grow now. Well then, cows have made made a small pen for you. So come over here, please. Come over here. Yes, yes. I'm going to need some of your milk. There we go. Milk bucket. So then, two cows here. I'm going to have them breed. Come on, get a baby. There we go. The parrots and the bats. Now, what I think I can do is make a white carpet here. And uh, yeah, I'm able to jump over this. There will be a lot of incest because, well, I'm not bringing in any new cows. So uh, the kids will have to mate with themselves. Now, I would like to make the farm, the wheat farm. Okay, wheat farm, cow farm. Maybe I can breed them again. Come over here. Yes, yes. One more time. Yeah, now you have a sibling. Uh-oh, where did my horse go? Oh, no, there it is. Okay, I thought I had uh, lost you. Oh, no, this isn't my horse. Actually, where the hell is my horse? Yeah, I've just lost my horse. Uh, 
Oh no, <laughs> it's uh, it's up there. Okay, sugary canes, more paper. Yeah, I think this is enough bookshelves for now. So, all right, it's time to enchant everything. So let's get the best for the armor. Let's see here. Is that is that level 18? Okay, only three XP points. Protection two. I don't want unbreaking, do I? No, I want protection. Efficiency two. Oh, and unbreaking two. Oh, protection two. Feather falling, diamond helmet, projectile protection, aqua affinity, and unbreaking. Uh, I need to apply the fortune free on uh, on us. So this is all of our enchantments on the armor. So fortune free, there we go. <laughs> Yeah, we are done now with everything now. Yeah, I'm just going to go down for another mining session with the Fortune Free Diamond Pickaxe. I think that will work. And the farm is coming along nicely. One of the kids grew up. Um, is that your kid and uh, your mother? Yeah, we have Feather Falling and there are some cobwebs there. So, <laughs> goodbye. And we made it. <laughs> The Fortune 3 pickaxe is so good. Ah, diamonds. Let's see. Uh, only one diamond. But there, there's more. So this one will bring two diamonds. Yeah. So from an eight vein, or was it five vein, we get nine diamonds. And the same with the gold here. More gold than usual. And more iron than usual, I think. Yep. Mm, another dungeon spawner. Interesting. We have a bunch of XP farms if needed. Oh my. Unenchanted gold. Golden apple. Yeah, that's the first of many. More diamonds, baby. We have infinite diamonds. Oh, oh my creeper from behind could have killed me. So much ore here. Yep, those archers are fighting themselves. We've barely been in here for 10 minutes and we already have all of this. Hmm, bunch of lava down there, but I, I think I saw more diamonds. Yep, diamonds right there. We're going to have a stack of diamonds at this rate. Well, I'm going to head up to the surface now. This is everything that we've acquired. Wow, there is so much in this cave here. We've gotten full diamond armor and we're going to get all of our future resources from here. But it's time to head up. I'm going to make a few more blast furnaces. I will have to smelt down stone. Come on, everyone. Incest. Breed. I would actually like to make an automatic farm for the sugar canes using pistons. So I'm going to have to farm a bit of cobblestone and some other stuff. Okay, I need observers, which require quartz. Uh, I will have to go into the nether for that. I mean, speaking of which, I could go into the nether. I'm just going to get some better enchantments. I need more books. Well, damn book. Maybe I get sharpness for my axe. What's next? Efficiency 2. Hmm. Upgrade everything here. I also need to repair this bow here. I should really start using this. I'm going to repair a bow by making another bow. Here we go. Uh, power one, yes. And then we get power two. And now we can get efficiency three on our diamond pickaxe. Now I just want a few chickens that I can breed. And then I think we should go into the nether. Come on, chickens. Come on, follow me. Yes. So then you will become a KFC farm and a chicken egg farm. So with that done, we can finally sleep. I will also need a smithing table here to upgrade my armor. So let's see here. Upgrade gear. We do have some smithing template here we found earlier for coast armor. Now yeah, what the hell do I do with this? So I apply it and um, uh, that seems pretty damn good. Anyways, it's time for the never. So where do we build the portal? Nine, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. And activate. So then, how do we deal with this? We have full diamond armor, so we cannot die, right? Okay, we need to go deeper advancement. This is not too shabby of a spawn. Yeah, we need to explore this. I need to make sure that I get the coordinates. A lot of iron nuggets or gold nuggets. And here we go. Quartz and glowstone. <laughs> We need to cross all of this. Ah, my clock doesn't work. Now, where is the closest bastion or never fortress? Wait, I think I can use... Oh, can I use a bed? No, that will explode. Uh, a boat against fall damage. Oh, so look at this. Um, 
Okay, that worked. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay, never fortress, and it's right by spawn. A terrible fortress. Well, we just need to get some blaze rods. Yup, I found a blaze spawner. I need to get over there. Now, this could be a bit dangerous. Ah, the damage though. So far, so good. So far, so good. Oh, no. Get away from me. We only need uh, six, right? Because that will bring us to, yeah, 12 blaze powder if we get six. They're uh, constantly flying over here. I don't want the blaze rods dropping in the lava. Wow, how many blazes are there? Come on, take shots. Yeah, the bow seems to be the best option. But I think, yeah, seven blaze rods, that's good enough. What is that? Huge ruined portal down there. Anyways, I think we're out of here for now. Wither skeletons. I will have to fight the wither eventually. Never wart. This will be useful for, what is it? It's mostly for brewing. And a chest here. It contains saddle. I'm really curious to see what this is. This right here. So what do we have here? Not a clock, but yeah, other than that, not much. Yeah, some gold. Yeah, I need to find a bastion now, or I should go home. God, no, 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 no. Oh my goodness, almost died to a random wither skeleton. It was waiting on top, so I had to push into it so I wouldn't fall off. Okay, have a few piglings here. Or piglins. Maybe they want some of my gold. Hello, people. Take this. Take this, right. yes. And the child too. Child, take this. <laughs> Come on. Ooh, fire resistance potion. I will need this. Oh, the child is also trading. The child is uh, looking at that gold. Yeah, I need to bring more gold, huh? Because these people have great trades. Please don't shoot me. Ah, uh, it shot the kid. I'm going to get some more uh, gold nuggets. Come on, baby. More gold. Got the gold blocks. Damn, they also give enchanted books. Soul speed. Yeah, I can also wear a piece of golden armor to, uh, what is it? To become friendly towards the piglings. Maybe I should craft that when I visit the bastion. But my diamond armor is getting destroyed. So this is everything that I've traded up. Very good loot. Um, I'm just going to explore some more. Ooh, another never fortress here. Interesting. Ah, oh, with fire resistance, I can easily fight blazes. Now look at this. Immune. What can it do? Uh, I'm going to run out of food, though, so I might have to head home. Oh my goodness, a wither skull. Uh, yeah, wow, a wither skull. Uh, yeah, we just need two more, and then we can summon the wither. A bunch of piglings there I would like to trade with. Ah, uh, ender pearls down there, very nice. Okay, I think we're out of here. We have everything we need. Okay, we're back at the portal. The nether fortress is right there. Oh my, the sun. And more food for the cows. Please grow up. Okay, now we can properly make the sugarcane farm. I needed some obs. Servers. I need iron. I need the quartz. Pistons go on top here. Then we got the observers. So once the sugar cane grows, yep, that is extremely fast. Although I don't like the positioning here right next to the farm. I'm going to have to move it. I would also like to set up some hoppers and a chest. So it's all automatic, even the storage. I also want some windows in here. It's uh, awfully dark and dull. All right, the sugarcane farm should work now. Let me test the hopper first. So the sugarcane comes down here and it goes into the chest. Also got some glowstone for the base. So no more torches, just implant these into the ground. 
Yeah, nice and lit up. Everything is going so well. Now I need to get a bunch of wood. I'm going to plant a forest close to the base. And here we go. So the redstone farm or the farm for the sugarcane is up, as you can see. And then finish it off with some slabs. So here we go. Let's just wait and see what happens. I can also get a jukebox here. Yeah, let's just play some nice music. Let's see here. Cat. Let's go. Yeah, this is uh, a great song. Great song. Yeah, just getting some more books, enchanted books to upgrade our gear. We want to get sharpness two on our tools. I'm breaking three on the diamond pickaxe. Yeah, so now we have the farm up. We have some chickens coming in, a lot of cows. And the sugarcane farm is, is working. So now I would like to explore some more. Get out into this world. Anyways, I would like to go to the pillager outpost actually. Way over there. Maybe we can take out a raid oh we get the bad omen we have to take out a raid he died to his own arrow ah crossbow is that better than the bow anyways this is mine now i'm raiding this oh we have some chests Ooh, smithing armor crossbow We're going to go to the village now and try to activate a raid. I think we can take one out. What is this? A wandering villager. I need to save him. There are so many of them. My goodness, they are tough. Okay, let's see here. Uh, nothing too good, actually. Nothing good. We are covered in arrows. Ha, <laughs> like a porcupine. I just killed his uh, his dad and now he's looking at me like, what the hell? Now then, the raid will activate. Let's see what happens. Yes, everybody come for safety. Yep, I see the first wave. <coughs> Cannot let these guys get close to me. First wave complete. There we go. These guys are so strong. The one with the axes. Oh no, a Ravager. Oh no, not the damn Ravager. How do I take this thing out, huh? Yeah, witch has to die. I cannot get poisoned by this thing. There we go. Oh my goodness, this is uh, a bit hard though. Oh no, I got slowed down. But the next... Okay, we're doing good, we're doing good. Iron Golem? Oh no, not an invoker. I need to kill this thing. Oh no, 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 no. I'm almost dead. Oh my, okay, this is harder than I thought. Come on, Iron Golem, help me. Iron Golem. Oh no, he died. I found, uh, what is this? Totem of Undying. <laughs> They're killing all the villagers. Evoker, where is the evoker? Come on, come over here. Oh no, another golden apple. What the? I'm going to die. My goodness, how is this so hard? I can barely hit the damn things. No, where is the last one? I, uh, I found him. Oh no, the poor kid here. Uh, do not come upstairs. Okay, that is a very hard raid. I need to take high ground. What the hell are these things? I'm going to die.
I can barely see the damn things. These things are the tiniest thing in the raid, yet they're the hardest thing. Look how much damage they deal, and I have diamond armor. Yeah, now it's night, so I have to sleep. Yeah, just let me sleep, please. Yeah, now there's one more evoker. I cannot deal with this. I see the damn evoker. Another totem of undying. <laughs> now I need to deal with these bad boys. Oh no, the raid is over. Uh, I guess I took too long, and that's a shame. I wanted to kill them. Yeah, that's, uh, yeah, that was not good at all. I need better armor. Another totem of undying. We have three. We will never die. Yeah, no villagers remain alive. This was a fail. Or actually a big win because, yeah, as I said, we will never die. It's time for the slaughtering. Some of these cows have to die. I need to repair my armor. It will cost a lot, but it will be worth it. So now I would like to go back to the nether and try to find a bastion because they have pretty good loot. I have everything ready. So yeah, let's just get in oh ghast you have to die there we go insta kill if i didn't have feather falling i would die here uh yeah i found a bastion right here uh, barely 300 blocks from spawn so we got the never fortress and we got the bastion now here we go so now we need to enter this hellhole need to make a way back up uh yeah we need to start trading i guess need to get some golden boots Hey, Glyn, is that a pig? A hog? What was that? Oh, chests. Oh, very nice. Very, very nice. Come on, pigs. I want all of you ganged up. Oh, not this guy. That guy deals so much damage. Uh, come on, take all of this. If I place a block of gold, apparently they should come. Where are all the pigs? Yes, come. Come, please. Okay, it seems to work. Oh, no, no, no. Oh my god, I'm almost dead again. I need to mine under here. Here we go. And give them all the gold. <laughs> we are almost dead, even with diamond armor. Let's see here. Smithing template banner. Oh my goodness. Neverite upgrade smithing template. I need that for Neverite. In fact, I should go mining for Neverite soon, huh? Please die. Oh no. I'm almost dead. I'm almost dead. Oh my goodness. Where did he come from? Why do we take so much damage? Oh, no. No, no, no. No! Oh my goodness, I'm almost dead. Oh, what? <laughs> what is even going on? What is even going on? Did you see how much damage I took? Oh yeah, go back to trading for heaven's sake. Okay, I'm mainly looking for ender pearls. I'm going to need a, uh, a shield here, definitely. Let's see here, ancient debris. Oh my goodness, we're going to get never right. I should go mining for that as well. This guy needs to die. He just needs to go and die. More loot, ancient debris or never right scrap. Uh, ancient debris, we can mine this. Takes a while, but... Oh no, wait, what do I do? I need to smelt it down, maybe? Okay, gold, gold, baby. Even more gold. Oh, okay, I hear a lot of pigs. What is going on here? Come on, give me some good loot. More gold. How did I discover that? I'm just mining everything. So this is everything that I'm bringing home for now. We can always come back. Now I just have to run for a minute or so. And then we will be back where we started. Okay, right here. We're back home. Ancient debris right here. Yup, that will be turned into neverite scrap. I need another totem of undying now. God damn it. Well then, I would like to actually explore now the rest of the overworld. I would like to go maybe a thousand 
walls and blocks towards the west. This will be a great journey. Well, 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 not even 700 blocks and we found another village. Well, finally more villagers that I can trade with, but... Yeah, I'll just take their wheat, their hay, and get out of here. Oh my, is this a library? Three books. Yeah, another ruined portal, but yeah, I think we should head home. I only explored 1,200 blocks. Now that we're back home, I would actually like to start getting some neverite. So upgrading all of our equipment to neverite. Uh, it will be very expensive, but I want it. We also have a maxed out enchanting table set up, so I would like to get some books some very good books but we barely have any exp i will have to enter the never and then go down to layer number 15 that's where it's the most common oh what the hell is my horse doing here come on horsey what are you doing uh, i need to go so deep um i'm just going to drop down here come on not even a single damage okay we're at 39 all right and from here on we have strip mine Oh my goodness. Okay. <laughs> we just found some. Some never debris. Never right. Oh, lava. Yeah, this mining thing isn't really working, but I have an idea. Beds here, they are better than TNT, no? Especially in the never and the end, because they will explode. Um, yeah, this, this will be great. If we take this, for example, right here, place a block, and then do this. Oh no, this. Uh, yeah, that, that works. Unfortunately, no never right here, but that is way better than TNT, no? I just need to farm um, a lot of beds. Now I need to climb all the way up. Come on, ghastly. Come on. There we go. Return to Cinder. So we need to farm a lot of wood and a lot of, uh, what is it? Wool. But we did get some more ancient debris. Uh, yeah, my horse is, um, is he dead? He went to the never. He might be dead. Okay, he's right here, but why won't he go through? There we go. Went through. Come on, horsey. We need to shear. I might need to get a sheep farm now. I should do that. Oh, this will be the sheep farm right here. Ah, oh, there were a lot of beds at the village that got raided. We can grab those. A tiny little baby sheep. Perfect. This will be perfect. We will get neverite armor in no time. A bunch of sheep here. Did you know that New Zealand has a lot of sheep? And the village here should have a lot of, uh, a lot of beds. So with all of this, we can now head back home. I think it's better to bring the ingredients down there because once you've spent all the beds, then you can just craft new ones. We are now ready to head down there again. And I'm also going to repair the pickaxe here. Now we just need to go down the same way we came. Now where's the giant hole? Up, oh, I don't see it. It, so I'll have to make a new one. Oh no, I see it now. Here we go. Just activate the damn bed. Okay, I need a block in between. And as you can see, very effective. Okay, here we go. Finally, some ancient debris right there. Okay, big one, baby. We hit the jackpot. Three. Anyways, this seems to be working, though. Oh, wait. Is this ancient debris? <laughs> wow, I was making space for the beds and I find this. Okay, well, keep on blowing up like a terrorist. Let's see here. Oh, my. We are very lucky. And even more ancient debris. Our largest vein yet. Three of them. Oh my goodness. I almost died. How did I land in lava? Yeah, that was a close one. Well, all my beds are exhausted and I got 15 ancient debris. Let's see how good that is. More ancient debris on the way out. And finally found the staircase to heaven. So I think we can upgrade our armor with this, right? Now, how do we do this? How do we craft this good stuff? So I think we will need 
gold. Okay, there we go. Neverite ingot. So now we can upgrade our gear here with the, where is it? The Neverite. Now the smithing template for the Neverite upgrade. I do need to duplicate this now. I will need diamonds that I have. I'm surprised I have all the Neverite ingots required for the full armor upgrade. And I can also upgrade the pickaxe, I think. Yeah. Firstly, let's go for the Neverite chest plate. And then we go for the leggings. And we go for the Neverite boots. This and that. Yeah, cover me in debris, baby. Look at that. Oh no, how do I repair my armor? I need mending. Yeah, I need mending. That right pickaxe seems better. Up, oh, zombie pigman the base. Hello. So I think the next few plants is number one. Get mending because I need to repair everything. So my plan is to go to the village and try to get a mending book. Well then, let's see here. I need to trade with this guy. So it changes recipe each time I replace the lectern. So I will come back with some emeralds. I forgot them. I'm just going to sleep in your bed. Uh, you're on top of me, my guy. Well then, big guy, I'm back with the emeralds. No, no, no. You need to, you need to stay in there. Uh, you need to come. Oh my goodness, these damn villagers. Can you come in here, please? Yes, thank you, thank you. Yeah, this is the way to go, huh? Until we get mending. I have gone half a day just trying to get this mending villager. And there's a low chance, apparently. Hmm, a silk touch book. I might need that. If I get silk touch here, then I can get an ender chest and store my items there. And then break it with the silk touch so it doesn't break apart. I need mending. I need mending. Oh my goodness. Okay, there it is. Mending. Uh, yeah, I barely have enough for it. 28 emeralds. Okay, I'm going to have to come back. I forgot I need a book to actually trade this. Okay, more books in here. Well then, I am here. So mending. Yes, please. Well, it's time to finally go home. Well, we're back at home with the mending book here. I'm not sure if I should apply this right now. Okay, so mending on the Neverite chest plate. That's the plan. And we need to get more emeralds for the rest. So I'm going to improve our cow farms here and the chicken and sheep farm. So I will be back in a second. So this farm creation is from Cubix Creations. So this is how it works. We have a bunch of water, a hopper in to a chest and essentially we're going to get the cows all in here and they will die to entity cramming we're going to need two cows in here please yes come in here please one now what i need to do is block this Okay, finally. So now all we need to do is kill the rest of the cows. Yeah, they're going to mate in the water there. <laughs> all right, everyone else has to die. This will be the biggest slaughter in the history of mankind. So then, we're just going to do the same with the chickens and the sheep. Another chicken is in the base. Ah, you're not going anywhere, KFC. There we go. Hold so on. We just need a pig farm there. But as you can see, it has been completed. Oh, no. I probably want the sheep to roam, huh? Because they need to eat grass to regrow their fur or their wool. What the hell is this? Wandering pillager. Now, I don't want to take care of our raid just yet. So I'm going to grab a bucket. And I'll grab some milk. Like my dad going to the grocery store. Drink that. And the effect is gone. Now, I actually need to go mining. Because I have no more diamonds. Yeah, I will have to go into the caves. Now, I would like to get a new helmet here. Because it has projectile protection. But I only want protection. Yeah, that's unfortunate. But it shouldn't take long to farm some more diamonds and neverite. I remember coming down here with barely any gear and now we have never right ah random creeper oh man <laughs> suicide fortune free pickaxe on coal is the actual best yeah going good so far we have a lot of coal i just need to find some diamonds i need to get lucky again the enderman barely deals any damage we almost have enough ender pearls for the end portal oh another zombie spawner free xp 
And the first batch of diamonds. So as you can see, the mended chest plate is instantly repaired while all the others fall behind. So I really need to get mending for the armor at least. What the hell is this? What? A crystal? Where the hell am I? I am full of stuff. I'm going to have to throw something away. Oh, I unlocked a few items here. A spyglass. Let me see. A spyglass. Oh, I can easily make that. I can get some copper. All right, get all of this and head out. More diamonds and another dungeon. Yeah, you two can fight each other. Where are the diamonds? Can you tell me? Uh, sorry to get into your way. Ah, more diamonds. Well, I think we can head out now. We have almost 40... 42 diamonds. Yeah, we're out. So, this is everything that we've acquired. Now I want to, yeah, start getting some more neverite. Get some better equipment. I need to upgrade my diamond sword into neverite. I'm going to farm some trees, get some more beds, and farm more neverite. Another bunch of pillagers. I do not want a raid. Yeah, this time we have way more beds available. So, our first batch of Neverite right there. Ah, oh, two stacks. Great to see. Ah, oh, three stacks. Oh, wow. Oh, no, my armor is going to break. I might have to get out of here. Should I go with 11 Neverite or Ancient Debris? Just a little bit more. Okay, I think this is enough. I barely have enough wool left. Oh no, we found two more. Wow. Yeah, we can leave now. We got 18 in total. Well then, time to start smelting all of this. We can also make a spyglass with the copper and the amethyst shard. So now we can zoom in. I can make four neverite ingots. That should be enough. But I need to get mending on my equipment. Should I make new ones? Well, for now, I will upgrade the diamond sword. So my neverite sword has one more attack damage. And then I think I'll make new... I should make a new helmet. And now I need protection on the helmet. Protection 2 and Aqua Affinity. Why not? Now then, can I repair my Neverite equipment efficiently? Um, that is absolutely horrendous. You know, I need to get mending. For now, I'll have to make new diamond leggings and diamond boots. Let's farm some more emeralds and get mending. Now, the easiest way is to, um is to fight raids. I don't exactly want to do this, but do I have a choice? Well, we will head to the village and see if we can get some good deals. I wanted to do a raid, but maybe we can get some good deals and try to farm those emeralds. Well then, wonderful villagers, I need you. Hmm, wonder if I can boat these villagers back to base, then they can become mine. Yeah. What I think I'll do to get more emeralds is make a sugarcane and bamboo farm, because what I need to do is get some sugarcane, make that into paper, and then I can trade that for emeralds at the librarian. And I can also get bamboo to get sticks, which can be traded in for emeralds at the Fletcher. But for now, I would like to zombify one of these villagers. Ah, oh, wandering trader. What do you have? Bamboo? Oh, nothing too useful. A sea pickle. Ah, oh, finally at home with the villager. Come on, tell me we can climb up this waterfall. Please, villager, get up. Uh, maybe I can use a leash. Come on, go up, villager. Yes. Now I just need you to go a little bit higher. Come on, get in. Get in. There we go. We did it. So I've decided on a sugarcane farm. So this guy will be zombified and then cured for a discount. So he sells us emeralds for paper. I know a random pig got in the boat. Um, I think he's smelling his uh, butt. Oh no, it's becoming night and I need to get a weakness potion. Are there any brown mushrooms here? Oh, I see some down there. I need it. I need to hurry, I need to hurry. Come on, spider eye, spider eye. I don't have any spider eye. Okay, there we go, spider eye. Yep, and then we want you to come in here. No, I don't want more of you. Oh my goodness, no, I don't want to kill him. What are you doing? 
Oh my goodness, he ran away. Come on, this guy just needs to die. That's that's all. Yeah, this is so hard. Okay, here we go. Finally working. Uh, they should kill each other now. I need to cover up the, the roof. There we go. So now the zombie won't die to the sun. And I can brew my potion in peace. Ah, it's worked. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Uh, yeah, this should work. So I also need a golden apple. And there we go. Potion of weakness. But I need to throw this now. Gunpowder. Yep. And here we go. Splash potion. No so splash potion. Yep, it's working. And I need to kill this guy. And there we go. We got the zombie doctor advancement. And we just need to trade with him. Let's see here. He does have a discount now. If I can get mending on him, would be good. Oh my goodness. I already got mending for 15 emeralds. Uh, I need to lock this in. I need some paper. Paper. Hold on. Uh, some paper. Now when I remove this, he shouldn't deactivate. No. I'm just going to push you in here. Ah, oh, god damn it. That was the hardest part. Trying not to die to those zombies. Yeah. Uh, so I'm going to have to go back to the village because I think I can also sell off some iron as well. And I also need to go get some more sugar canes. Wow, we have one, two, three, four, five and a half stacks of iron. This should yield us enough emeralds for mending. Now I left my horse here to get the villager back. So it took quite some time to get here. But now I need to find a blacksmith. I have a blast furnace, which is needed to make a blacksmith. I'm going to make an iron door so nothing can break in here we want to get a blast furnace and he should come over here there we go so armor oh apparently i need to level them up from novice to apprentice okay so i need to i need to get some coal i should really make a never portal this would make travel much faster and a cleric he wants rotten flesh so now we're breeding a lot of cows so they will die to collision or to entity cramping so i'm in the nether and i need to go 125 blocks south Oh, no. Yeah, that can... Uh... <laughs> oh, that... <laughs> oh, that was funny. That was funny, yeah. Well, that's minus one undying totem. Wow, I really fell down far, huh? Yeah, we'll take things way slower. Not even feather falling could save me there. That was insane. But I think we're here, so it's time to make the portal. Oh, I cannot believe that happened, but I should end up in the village... Ah, there is the village. Okay, I see it. So then, let's trade here. I need to trade away some coal. And now I need to uh, level this up. One, two, three, four. I need to buy some iron boots. So, an apprentice. Where is my iron? Oh, I just wasted all of my emeralds. Hmm, a Fletcher. 32 sticks. Oh, that should be very cheap. That is very cheap. Let me go get some more sticks then. Now, the best way to get sticks is to get bamboo at a jungle. So I should go explore for some sugar canes and a tropical jungle. I'm also going to move this portal closer to the village. Oh my, the portal here is very close to our previous portal. I believe I only have one totem of undying. So if that expires or if I use that one up, then I have to do a new raid. Now the biggest question is how do I find the jungle? Yeah, I'm just going to go north then or south. No, no, no. South was the ocean. Now I'm not going to bring our horse Jürgen over there because, well, he cannot navigate through trees. Yeah, I'm not sure if I'm heading the right way, honestly. I'm not supposed to be here. We go east. Oh my goodness, what do we have here? Yeah, Taiga Village, not too far from base. Only 600 blocks. Well then, any good stuff in here? Any good traders? Okay, some books, not too shabby. Yeah, not too much, actually. I'm just going to move on. Ah, oh, what is this? We have a mangrove cave right here. Ah, oh, let's check this out. Here we go. So, yeah, a huge cave down here. I'm just going to land in the water. Wow, this is beautiful. But honestly, I'm not in the mood to mine. So, now I don't think the jungle is close to the taiga, the cold taiga. So, I'm going to go to the plains village and try to look further there. Wait a second. What is this? Seven... Is this seven emeralds in a book for mending? <laughs> I mean, I won't even have to go to the jungle at that point. I'll just chop down trees for sticks. And then, yeah, get some coal for emeralds and sugar canes for paper to turn into emeralds. Now, this is ten times faster with the never travel. Well, hello, villagers. I have some coal for you. They even have a coal mine here for emeralds. That is gracious of them. 
Wow, so many sticks just from a couple of trees. This should be easy. All right, Fletcher guy. I will do this and this and he will level up. And I also got some more coal to trade away. So in total, I need one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight mending books. So seven times seven is 49. Oh my goodness, toolsmith. Iron for emeralds. I leveled him up. We need to, we need to go home. We will have this in no time. I am pleased to announce that we have now become multi-millionaires. So diamond hoe for two emeralds. Yeah, I think we have enough emeralds now for the full mended armor. And now we need to get the sword and pickaxe. Those are the most important. And level you up as well, Mr. Fletcher. So let's see here. Oh my, 13 string for one emerald. Two emeralds for a crossbow. Back at home, we're going to go get some books now and buy a bunch of mending books. Yeah, it's only six. What, six? emeralds now it was at seven but as you can see he will level up now and we can apply mending to everything that we need let's see here feather falling to one book for one emerald oh my goodness that's three paper and uh, and one lever yeah look at that they're uh, they're getting born and then they die they instantly die because of entity cramming well, we can get enough mending books for everything. Only four emeralds and one book for mending now. Uh, mending on the pickaxe will take quite a lot of XP. So the next task is, I think, getting an XP farm. So either a mob farm or an enderman farm, which means uh, defeating the ender dragon. Anyways, fully mended up. I need to get some more EXP to repair the neverite boots. I'm going to go on a quick little mining trip, maybe. Now I would like to go into a new cave because we We've already been in that cave a million times. But where are all the Endermen? I need to get a few more pearls. Yeah, so mending on the netherite boots. They are regenerating as well as our tools. But we aren't getting any experience, if you notice. So it all goes to the armor. Nothing in the cave here. So I'm just going to go up and farm some Endermen. Now I applied the knockback one on our weapon. And it's so useful. Here we go. I just need... Oh my goodness. From behind. So 10 Ender Pearls in total. I only need two or three more. I might go to the Bastion and just trade some because pillagers can give me some ender pearls and there are also endermen in the nether. Okay, the Crimson Forest. Pretty damn rad. What the? VQ has completed the challenge Hot Tourist destinations. What is this? Explore all never biomes. I could actually go ahead and trade right here. There we go. And we just want some, we just want some ender pearls. You're stealing my gold. Here we go, ender pearls. So four of them, we have enough. In total, 14 ender pearls and a bunch of other goodies. For the ender dragon fight, I'm going to bring a lot of stuff here. I want obsidian so I can travel there through and back with the never. Blaze powder, ender pearls, eye of the ender. Water bucket, yup, I think we're ready. Just a bit more food. We are completely ready, so let's see here. Okay, that is, that is a bit far. It's really going to be in the icy glaciers. Ooh, I found another village thanks to this. Any good traders here? Actually, I don't need emeralds. I'm out. How far away is this thing? Ooh, okay, I found it. It's behind me now. And okay, ah, I guess I found it. Come on, where is it? Now it's above me. What? Uh, it's supposed to be right here. Oh, finally. Uh, I found it, right? Okay, here it is. I spy. A uh, library. If there are any good books here, there should be a chest. The chest here has eye armor. Blast protection 4. Knockback 2. Infinity protection 3. Multi-shot. More ender pearls, but I'm looking for the end portal. What is this? Another library. This time with Unbreaking 3. Bane of Arthur for pods four and riptide this is actually free emeralds because i can sell these books to the uh, what is it to the librarian and the chest here has loyalty three power four smite four and protection three damn i could go back with this loot already and a mine shaft right under this whole damn thing my what is this a geode yep here it is the end portal i just want to see how far this is from the base my goodness this is actually pretty close i am going to make a chest here so i can store some items i think i have to destroy this spawner it is so annoying 
And without further ado, Ender Dragon, it's time. So, Ender Dragon, I know how to do this. No, no, no. Oh my goodness, almost died. And destroy this. Only a few towers left. This one. And that one. I think that's all of them. Ah, that was close halfway. Ah, the Enderman is after the Ender Dragon. Uh, your boss isn't that friendly. Yup, come on. And there we go. We have beaten Mine Camp. I mean, uh, Minecraft. Here we go. Yes, it is raining. Look at the mending. <laughs> Wonderful level. What is this? Level 56. And now we can access the end islands. Come on, the end dragon egg. Yeah, we, we can leave that be. We need a piston, I think. Oh, then. This is the Minecraft Java Edition end screen. I see the player, you mean. VQ? Yes, take care. It has reached a higher level now. It can read our thoughts. That doesn't matter. It thinks we are part of the game. I like this player. It played well. It did not give up. It is reading our thoughts as though they were words on a screen. Okay, very good, very good. Well, let's go home. Ah, uh, that was very nice. Okay, now I think I know the way. I would also like to apply this eye armor to our armor. I think we should use amethysts. That would look pretty damn cool. And now we look really good. Upgrade our armor to protection four. Oh, my anvil broke. I need to get mending on the rest of my tools. Oh, that is so expensive. 17 enchantment costs. Anyways, it's time to prepare for the end islands. I would also like to get an ender chest here. Where it's, uh, yeah, it's this thing. I've also leveled up the librarian again. Oh my, an ink sack for an emerald. Only one required. Uh, we have infinite emeralds. We are fully ready now. Let's go. I need an elytra. Come in here. Yep, you're coming into the end with me. Wait, piglin turned into zombie pigman. Ah, uh, <laughs> get in here. Yeah, welcome to the end. Now what we want to do is throw an ender pearl right here. Okay, that did not work. Now I aggroed a bunch of these guys. They deal so much damage. Yeah, that can happen. Well, how do we enter this? Hey, what if I make a trap door? Here we go. Yeah, that worked. Um, so where the hell are we? And chorus fruit are great fruit. Now we run for miles. Yeah, we've been running for about 10 minutes now. And I see something right there. Yeah, an exit. But we haven't found what we needed. An elytra. Oh, finally. <laughs> I see it. I see something. Yeah, that took quite a lot of walking. If you see my coordinates. But we will do this. So just ender pearl right over over there so then it's time to get some what is it the shulker boxes for more storage we want to enter through here the city at the end of the game wow yes this is exactly what we want i don't want to start levitating though now then time to start climbing the tower of god And you can see how many shulker boxes, or what is this material called? Shulker shells there are. And the chests here, 
Oh my goodness, not too shabby actually, not too shabby. Mending on this one, efficiency 4. I have to do parkour, I hate this. Now at the top of the tower, okay, the ship is right there. Uh, oh no, that is not the ship, this is the ship. There are so many of them. So how do I make this stuff? Shulker shells, shulker box. I only need two per chest. Yeah, I mean, I don't really need that many. Look how much storage I have now. More shulkers, more, more, more chests. Uh, let's see here. Diamond chest plate with uh, blast protection is not so good though. I will be taking the ender chest or I'll just store some things in there. Now that we're on top of the tower, we can see everything. I cannot miss this. Instant health potions. What else? Ah, there it is. The, the elytra. Sky's the limit, of course. Efficiency 3 shovel. No, but I'm, I'm satisfied. We will make more shulker boxes. Yeah, now we can fly, so... I think we should we should head home. Now we came from there, so... Let's fly. Yup, this is lovely. Now we just need some fireworks. We're going to try to find a portal out of here. Ah, I see one. Now we need mending on this thing and unbreaking three. Come on. And here we go. Back to the end. Oh wait, I know another way of getting this egg. So what you want to do is dig under it, get a torch. Yep, there we go. <laughs> the next generation. Now then, back at home. And uh, we have so much loot. I cannot enchant the elytra. Hmm. And there we go. A master librarian. One emerald for a clock. And also a compass, but I want to level it up even further. There we go. So then, a name tag for 13 emeralds. Okay, this is uh, very good, very good. Mending only costs two emeralds. I'm also going to make a grindstone here, so I can disenchant all of this garbage. Get rid of a lot of these books. I'm breaking theory and mending. An efficiency 5 iron pickaxe. That's a lot of XP, no? Hmm, maybe we can make this a silk touch pickaxe in the future so the next task is effective but simple i'm going to be making an enderman xp farm from dash palm 4 so i'm going to get started on gathering the resources for that i will need a lot of leaves so it's time to shear down so I can also get the scum powder and paper here, and I can make a, what is it, a few firework rockets. If I go here, fireworks, and yeah, now I can fly, right? So out we go, and into the sky we soar. Anyways, we have all the ingredients ready, so I think it's time to go. Technically in the never, we can fly, <laughs> yeah, we can just fly like this. Ah, soaring through the skies. The nether portal should be up. Yeah, I see it. And now we need to build. Now if something happens, I can just launch myself into the air. And then we need to go all the way down to Y0. So 37 blocks down. Okay, just one more block. We might fall. Oh no. Yep, <laughs> yes, fly up. I for sure thought we were dead. I forgot about the rockets. But I think I got the block down, so we should be fine. And then we build out. Now I need to waterlog a bunch of leaves, because then Enderman cannot teleport on top of them. Now we need two trapdoors above this barrel. So thanks again to Dash Pump 4 for this design. Essentially, we look at them and they will come towards us. They are uh, they are flowing in. Yep, it's working. Ah, <laughs> oh, they are all dying. <laughs> 
the sound. As you can see, infinite ender pearls, infinite AXP. I'm going to put on my uh, auto clicker. Yep, that is the Enderman farm, level 45. And uh, well, we have so many Ender pearls. I'm just going to bring some of them home. So yeah, we can we can head out now. <laughs> it's working. I'm going to enchant our stuff and then come back. I think that's the plan. I could actually just pop some uh, some Ender pearls. Look at this. I mean, we can use infinite Ender pearls as long as we have food. This stuff is as common as dirt now. The Ender pearls. Ah, uh, that was the most satisfying thing we've built so far. But now, yeah, just enchant. We have all the XP to work with. So I'm just going to get some books. Ah, Wandering Trader. Ah, Slime Ball. I'm going to buy, what is it? Some slime. But now I want to upgrade the sword. Sweeping Edge. That works. 21 enchantment cost. Let's see here. Efficiency. Is that 4? Efficiency 4 on the pickaxe. 35. Ah, we will get that in 2 seconds with the enderman farm now a great upgrade for the farm is sweeping edge three but this thing will deal more damage with the sweeping attack which is very useful for the enderman farm now i don't have any more exp so i need to go back i think we're going to level up to level 50 this time so we'll leave the farm on for like five minutes okay i've ran the farm for like five minutes and as you can see um we're at level 51. Ah, yeah, that is some of the most satisfying thing I've done. We're going to go back with some more of this loot. Look how much XP it's still going. What I really need here, though, is an anvil, that's for sure. So I can uh, spend my XP on, what is it, on combining the items. Well, we have enchanted more stuff. So protection for on everything except for the chest piece. Now I need to go and grind some more. I need to level up the sharpness on my Neverite sword the efficiency on my pickaxe and axe and that should be it there are a bunch of tiny enchantments that i want but don't really need one more important enchantment that i need is looting three for the sword because i want to fight the wither so we'll have to kill a lot of wither skeletons grind for five minutes enchant grind for uh, or actually maybe three minutes or something Well done, we have uh, gotten some better enchantments. Efficiency 4 on the Dever Ripe Pickaxe, Efficiency 4 on the Diamond Axe. I still need to get that Looting 3. Ooh, Looting 2. This is actually perfect. Uh, can I even afford Looting on our sword? It will probably be too expensive. So, um, hmm, too expensive. Interesting. Uh, might have to, uh... Hmm, what do I do? I'm going to have to make a new sword, I think. That's the only way. There we go. Looting to sharpness three. This will do. We are going into the nether. Oh, another wandering trader. Uh, nothing too useful. So the nether fortress should be right next to the portal. So it shouldn't be an issue. Oh, I already got one earlier, so I only need to get... Oh my goodness. I have, uh, I have soul speed now, so look how fast I am. Yep, we're back here once again. I'm going to de-equip the elytra and yeah equip the neverite chest plate oh, no luck so far so apparently there's a 4.5 percent chance of it dropping with looting too oh, that is quite low oh <laughs> i say it's quite low and then we get it on our third skeleton wow what the hell yeah we can wear this as well Oh no, I'm going to die. I accidentally, oh no. I almost died again. I got caught off guard. I was attacking a wither skeleton and then the zombie pigmen came. Wow, they deal a lot of damage, huh? Well, no more second tries, so this is more anticipating. I'm going to have to fight another raid for those totem of undyings. Well, that's not a problem. We have a pillager outpost right next to the base. Hmm, bond shot, no, 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 don't go off. Yeah, so it's been like a day or so, and ever since we got that lucky skull, we haven't gotten any more. We will be here for a while, but I need to go back to get more food. Oh, 
Oh my goodness. Okay, there we go. Finally, we got the second Wither Skull. Uh, it's time to go home. That took almost two days. Yeah, or more. Now I will need some soul sand. So now we prepare for the Wither fight. Although it should be pretty easy. We just have our random invisible wandering trader here. So I'm going to prepare some potions here. I'm going to get strength 2 and regeneration 2. For the strength potion, you need to get some blaze rods. And then first, get the water get three bottles of that and we need to make awkward potions after that you just place a blaze powder and now we have strength so you can get redstone or glowstone to make this into strength too after that we want some regeneration potions so again nether wart and then a gas tier so regeneration and we want to get regeneration too and then we're going to go all the way down to the deep slate okay now we just need the wither skulls so all three of them and we need what is it for soul sand without further ado it's time to go all the way down here and yeah, this is wonderful with the elytra well nothing else we're waiting for here so one two and three okay it is time it is time so this should last for how many one and a half minutes that's more than enough time come on big guy what do you have oh. yeah he is dying though no? he's stuck up there that's not what we want but as you can see we're barely taking any damage oh my this is <laughs> this is way too easy yeah uh okay that was unexpectedly fast. Wither 2 is quite bad, but because of regeneration, we will not die. Wow, it's time to make a beacon then out of this never star. I'm thinking an iron beacon. So I'm thinking we place it close to the base. So maybe right here. Here we go. Got the bacon. The bacon. I need all the iron in the world. In total, 24 blocks. All right, or 25 blocks. So let's see here. I'm also going to wall the base around a little bit. Well, what power do we want? Not strength, maybe haste or speed. Oh, those are the only ones we can get. Or actually, I'm going to build this on top of the base and then make our base like a tower. So we're going to build the beacon up here. And then as we level up and continue the journey, we will fill out the beacon. But for now, I think we're going to go for speed. And uh, perfect. So it, it works. We're going to fortify the base with a few fences. And yeah, we have walled this all around, but I want to get some more dirt to try to fill this in. Looks very unnatural. So the next goal is simple, but daunting. We're going to go into the ocean and go to the ocean monument. And we're going to try to raid it, which means we need some TNT. I will have to kill some creepers. Yeah, I should make a mob farm. That way we can have infinite gunpowder. Oh, I got a music disc from a creeper. Oh, man. What the hell? This is a lot of zombies. All done. And I think that's enough. 34 gunpowder. Or actually, maybe I should just do a raid now because I forgot I have no more totem of undyings. So the first step is to kill one of these guys and get the bad omen. And then I'm going to go to the Taiga village because I don't really care about that one. I cannot let the plains village die. Oh no, the evoker. That thing needs to die. Come on. Come on. There we go. Totem of Undying. Ah, oh, this is getting harder and harder. Evoker. He needs to die. There we go, another totem of undying. Oh, two of them. Oh no. Oh, 
Come on, put them off on dying. There are so many of them. How oh, is anybody supposed to do the solo? Well, it is doable. I need to take this guy out. Oh, this is incredibly tough. Uh, look how many totems of undying we have. One, two, I don't even know. Okay, I think we've done it. I don't know if this is the last wave, but I cannot take out anymore. Here we go. Yep. Hero of the village. The village. Ah, yeah, we have done it. So, in total, uh, four, five totems of undying, so I will never die. So now trading deals will be better here, but yeah, I don't need to trade. Now we can head home and start destroying the ocean monument. I've also got protection 4 for our Neverite chest plates, so now everything is protection 4. Anyways, I need some TNT and we will head out. I need to get sand for TNT, forgot. You know, but we're ready now. Let's go. Yup, this is it. I need some blocks. I think I blocked myself in. Let's drink some milk. And uh, yeah, we can head in now. Yep, here we go. I need to drink a water breathing potion. Come on, just die. Oh no, I'm stuck. Oh no, I'm... What am I stuck on? Oh, oh, okay. He just insta-died. Oh, now we need to explore this monument. Where the hell is the gold? Okay, there must be something in here. What I'll do is this. Yup, and here is the gold. Hmm, I cannot mine this though. Oh, sponges. This will be useful. That should be most of them. Uh, whatever those creatures are called. Oh no, another uh, Elder Guardian. Where is it? Apparently there are two other ancient guardians that I have to find. And we're in. We're in. Oh, I'm taking quite a lot of damage. Yup, that's the second one down. Uh-oh, no more... Okay, I see the next guardian. I'm just going to drink some milk. I need to be wary now. I cannot breathe underwater. You better drink more milk when you grow up. So you can do... Oh no, I can't just do this. Yeah, doors are OP for this. You can hide behind them and you can kill him with this. <laughs> that was easy. That's all of them. So we will get the gold and head out. Yeah, that was fun, but way too easy because we have never right armor. So that's good. In total, what is this? How many blocks? Eight. The only thing we got is smithing template. Oh, now I need to get up. But we already have the best looking armor, so none of this loot really matters. Well, now we can relax. We've done, uh, we've done a lot. Too many chickens. All the chickens died. So my next plan is quite good, actually. I'm going to try to get as many emeralds as possible to make emerald blocks. So in theory, only nine books gives me one emerald block. So here we go. This should work. Yep. So I think we hit the jackpot because we can sell books here. And if we go to the stronghold, then technically we get infinite emeralds. So we're going to get every single book that we can. And there we go. Every single book has been stripped. So with all of this, we can buy this. We can sell off the books. Wow, 59 emeralds already. So we get a lot of emeralds per day. Well, I think we can make the second layer. Ah, never mind. Still don't have enough. It's really expensive. Look how many books we got in total. Hundreds of them. So the next plan is that we're going to enchant our armor. We're going to go to the Enderman farm and then go and find an ancient city. Apparently they can only be found in snow biomes in the mountains. So I will explore, but for now I need better enchantments. Now we spend uh, several minutes here. <laughs> oh 
Oh my. Okay. Uh, if I hadn't noticed, I would have been dead. I forgot. Oh my goodness. I almost died because I almost died of hunger. I mean, that can happen, but... Ah, uh, why didn't I think of that? Well then, after 10 minutes of uh, farming, I put a timer on 10 minutes, so maybe that's why I saved myself. Uh, we reached level 71. Oh my, I cannot believe how I'm using up these totems on the, on the dumbest things. Villagers restock up to two times per day. That's good to know. I would also like a power 5 bow, which means I need to farm or, uh, yeah, farm for EXP some more. Mm, I would like to get a Trident. I have a lot of enchantments for it. Well, I think that does it. Uh, level 83. So it is simply time to go to this ancient city. I mean, might as well visit this mushroom island on the way. Let's see here. A bunch of cows. What do they drop? A bunch of stuff. Mm, this is actually quite relaxing to be out here. But off we go. Hmm, could be right here, actually. Come on. I don't know, might not be in here. Let's see if this could be it. Hmm, seems like this is harder than I thought it would be. Yeah, so I was wrong. I thought they could only generate on high mountains in the snow, but apparently they can generate everywhere. But it's just more common there. So any large mountain, maybe. That's what I should look for, like this. Well, I'm finding a lot of diamonds, but none of this ancient city. Yeah, no ancient city. I have to go up. Yeah, I'm running out of rockets, so I'm going to have to go home, unfortunately. But there seem to be a lot of mountains here. Ah, snowy slopes. Wait, this could actually be it. Oh, my emeralds. I have never found that naturally. I'll be taking uh, one of those. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Look, uh, Bio Minecraft Deep Dark. I actually made it. Uh, it was right below this huge frozen peaks mountain, so I was right. Apparently it is at minus, what is it? Minus 40 Y coordinate. Ah, here we go. I found something. Okay, sneak 100. What is going on is the warden gonna spawn on top of me interesting well we made it so that's all that matters minecraft ancient city replaceable the ancient city must be right here ah oh, more diamonds and i hear skulk sensors yeah yeah this is what i was looking for what the hell is that sound no 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 what is that what the i've never been this scared in minecraft okay Oh no, 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 no. Ah, oh, the warden, the warden, the warden, the warden, the warden, the warden, the warden. I have full netherite armor though. How can I die? I see it. Oh no. There we go. Die. Oh no. Come on! Oh my goodness! No, no, no! <gasps> no, 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 no! 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 I'm, I'm, I'm joking! I'm joking! I'm joking! I'm, jo <laughs> I'm joking! I'm joking! Uh, uh, narrator off! Narrator off! I'm not going into the ancient city. I am not going into the. How did I take half? No, what was that? That was insane damage. I'm out of here, guys. Uh, I don't know if I can do the ancient city with that thing around. Oh, okay. That is uh, harder than the ender dragon somehow. I am uh, I am out of here. I am out of here. Now, that was some kind of ranged attack, right? I was like 10 blocks away from it. It is safe to say I will be back once I am uh, ready. And when will I be ready? Uh, never. Oh, we're back to the surface. And now we can relax. I just need to get some more fireworks. Yeah, I'm going to continue building the emerald beacon. I think that's more peaceful. For now, I'm going to chop down some wood and sell that to the Fletcher. We have finally made a second layer to the beacon, the bacon. A uh, jump boost? I don't really need that though. So we're going to make an infinite mob farm. So we have infinite gunpowder, infinite rod and flesh for your emeralds and such. So I will prepare the resources. Well, we have all the ingredients, so it's time to go out into the ocean. So this design is by Voltrox, so I will just copy that, go up a hundred blocks. 
So we made a 22 tower block high structure. So we just need the chests. We just need the hoppers. And then some slabs. And now it's time to make the spawning platform. Yeah, it's almost done now. And just like that, uh, the farm is done. Come on, please work. Yeah, it's working. I should get a looting sword. Oh, wait, I have one in my shulker box. Yeah, creepers are what we want. So far, so good. It's working. Not as much XP as the Enderman farm, but way more resources. I can make it faster because the spiders aren't coming down. I need to place carpets. But as you can see, you can see the farm from here. I'm actually going to remove this huge pillar. It doesn't look good. And I have an elytra, so I can always come back. Yeah, so the carpet has been placed down, so no more spiders blocking or clogging the system. No, <laughs> easily repairable. Well, so we've farmed quite a lot. And as you can see, a lot of gunpowder, which we need. Infinite fireworks so we can explore. Maybe I should uh, explore for some more biomes. Well, I'm going to head towards north. Let's see what we can find. Well, another village, but so far, no jungle. I'm stealing all of your plants. Yeah, we're 6,000 blocks away, but still no jungle. Hmm, we found a pillager outpost, but hmm, maybe we can find a woodland mansion. I will be stealing all of this a goat horn uh trident maybe oh i hear a trident here we go boom there we go an unbreaking two trident it's time to go home and enchant this on the way back we found a woodland mansion well we have all the storage so let's do this let's see here obsidian and i hear a bunch of them i should make this my base so far so good oh no oh no Almost died once again, but another totem of undying. I found the entrance, but there's not a lot of chests, not a lot of loot. Yeah, now it's time to go home. I want to go home. I want to enchant this trident. Back at home, we will sleep. But yeah, it has been a hundred days here in Minecraft. So we've done quite a lot. These are all the advancements. We beat the game, got the elytra, uh, killed the wither, got to the ancient city, or uh, not really, we only saw the warden, and got all of the default advancements. And here are all my statistics if you want to check it out very very nice all the mobs killed we have killed a third almost 14,000 endermen wow but yeah we did quite a lot though more than i expected and got the full neverite armor but anyways that was quite the playthrough but thanks for watching and if you're bored then watch this video now